Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you. And it's for Sunday, the 11th day of February, the 26th day of Shvat. Here we go. Now we're in the small unit about uh, learning as to, like, what do you do about sewing on Shabbos? It's one of the 39 malachas that you're not allowed to do. You're not allowed to sew on Shabbos. And now we have to hit regular things that we do each day and find out if that's called sewing on Shabbos. Like buttons. When you stick a button into a button hole, you are pulling together the two pieces of the material and forcing them to stay shut, which is very close to what um, sewing does. And yet, the rabbis say, pretty much all of them, that buttons in buttonholes are no problem at all because when a button goes into a buttonhole, it's true that it holds the two pieces of material together, but it's not in a stitched fashion that's permanent. It's meant to be opened and closed. And because it's meant to be opened and closed, it doesn't resemble real sewing. And therefore, go ahead and button your shirts on Shabbos and it's no problem at all. Uh, Because... Of that rule, when you close a button, it's really just something made to be open, so it's not like a permanent kind of thing. That has a giant ramification, and that is a couple of weeks when you put on your uh, winter coat for the last time on Shabbos, let's say, and you put it back on the hanger in the closet and you button the top button so it doesn't fall off the hanger, and that button's going to stay shut all through the spring and summer and fall all the way till winter. So that button will remain closed for months and months, and yet it's totally permissible to do that on Shabbos because it's it's a button. <laughs> Buttons are meant to be open and closed, and therefore it's not a problem of sewing on Shabbos. Zippers, um, basically the same thing as buttons. They're meant to be open and closed. When you zip up a zipper, it's not in any way called uh, sewing because it's meant to be open and closed just like a button is. And so zipping up things on Shabbos, fine. If you have a suitcase and you just put some things in there and you're staying somewhere and you want to just zip up your suitcase for privacy or whatever reason, you're allowed to do that on Shabbos. Ziploc bags, same thing. They're like a zipper. They're meant to be open and closed, and so you could do them on Shabbos. Now, sometimes you're going to put on your winter coat for the first time on Shabbos, and it has a lining. And the lining has been out of the coat because sometimes when you wore it during the summer for rain, you didn't have that winter lining in. And now you want to put that winter lining in uh, in the middle of, let's say, November when you're starting to wear your winter coat. And it's Shabbos and it's your first time and you're zipping in and buttoning in that lining to stay that way for months. Some rabbis say that you shouldn't do that on Shabbos. If you need to put your... Um, lining into your coat and you want to button and zip it there so just take care of it before Shabbos. If you know that it's temporary and you're going to take it back out because the next day it's going to rain let's say and it's not going to be cold, if it's temporary then it is okay. Um, It is okay to zip a hood onto your jacket on Shabbos. Also same thing though that's if it's for a short period of time. It's for the entire winter and you want to do that for the first time on Shabbos, that's questionable. There are a lot of rabbis who don't allow it. Um, a zipper all by itself, just lying there from, I don't know, somebody's sewing kit not attached to clothing at all, is mukta. It has no Shabbos purpose, and therefore you shouldn't move it around. What about Velcro? you got Velcro uh, ties that tie together a shoe, Velcro things that hold together a hood, jacket, or whatever. All rabbis, no argument, all rabbis consider Velcro not stitching at all, and therefore go ahead and use Velcro safely every Shabbos if you need to, and it's no problem at all. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.